Hey, Katie, what did you see on that pitch? Uh, I saw ball. <laughs> I, I try not to um, overcomplicate it. Yeah, that's my job, just to hit it hard. See ball, hit ball. Mm -hmm. uh, did you know it was going the second it left your bat? Yes, I did, which is fun. <laughs> Those are the best. Um, obviously, you were doing well before your injury, um, and you've come back now, and I think you've had two homers and I think maybe as many games or close to it. Um, just what's been working for you so well so far this season? Yeah, I'm just happy to be back, and we have so much fun that it's just easy to get up there and be loose. So there's there's no pressure, and we just we just all have so much fun that we're just – in there hitting the ball hard we're not worried about home runs or stats or anything we're just having a good time mm -hmm. um were you a little bored out in left field today it seemed like uh kelsey kayla and carson just kind of took things <laughs> over yes i was but that's the best part is that our pitchers <laughs> hold it down so it makes my job easy and everyone's job easier and it's it's fun to watch them dominate batters mm -hmm. how good was it to see kayla back Oh, it was so, it was so much fun. I remember when Coach Bev called the lineup, we were all so excited for her. She's been, you know, working to come back. So we're excited. Mm -hmm. um, SEC play starts on Friday. Um, where do you think you guys stand uh, heading into conference play? I think we are, we're looking good. I mean, we're on a roll right now and we're just, you know, hitting the ball well and our pitchers are holding it down. So I think this weekend will be exciting for everyone. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. All righty, next up, 2020 interview of the year, Kenzie McGuire. Hey, Kenzie, um, did you blink and miss that first inning? <laughs> no. <laughs> It was just a pitch ready to hit. It's all good. Um, have you seen ever seen you know pitcher be that efficient? I think Kelsey threw a total of eleven pitches in her first two innings. Yeah, Kelsey's been working to do that. That's what we're used to, you know. How good was it to have uh, KK back today? It was great to have her back. We've been waiting since March of last year to see her throw again, so it was really awesome to see. Mm -hmm. uh um, what was your view from second on uh, Katie Preble's homer to end it there? Oh, I knew it was gone. I didn't even look. I just ran home. <laughs> um, how, Katie mentioned it seemed like you guys are just, you know, having a lot of fun. How, e how easy is it to stay loose when you guys are winning? Yeah, it's easy to stay loose when we're winning. And if we're behind, we make that effort to ensure that we're loose. We play better that way. And we just have great relationships on the field. So it helps us stay loose and just have fun. Mm -hmm. um, SEC play starts on Friday. How would you kind of evaluate yourselves um, heading into conference play? We're ready for conference play, you know, one game at a time and we're going to take it home. Mm -hmm. um, you know, coming into the season, Bev's really kind of emphasize, you know, speed on base paths, uh, you know, taking the extra bases when you can. What do you see there after your single and you just, you know, walk the second, it seemed? Yeah, Coach Bev had just mentioned to me that she comes out of the circle, so I was looking for it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, Kenzie. Thank you. Thank you, Kenzie. Uh, speaking of efficiency, the last time Kelsey pitched against uh, Georgia Southern, she actually threw an immaculate inning. It's the <laughs> only immaculate inning of her career. And with that, I'm going to let Coach uh, – open up with an opening statement, and then uh, let you ask questions, Brandon. It was Kelsey's immaculate? She had the immaculate oh, inning okay, against Georgia okay. Southern. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Bev. Uh, I think Patrick wanted, make you, wanted you to make an opening statement. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't Sorry. listening. No, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> well, that was, uh, that was a great game. I tell you, uh, for me, it was great to see Kayla Drotar come back on the mound. It really has been almost a year since she's been out there. So uh, she's done a great job in terms of just getting healthy and coming back for us. And then um, for Kenzie McGuire to open up the game uh, with a home run and then to end it with a home run, I thought was really exciting. Katie, Katie Preble uh, is seeing the ball big right now and she's just such a powerful hitter. Um, 
I thought she did a great job. I think Kenzie had four runs on four runs scored on the day and Katie had five RBIs, I believe. So it was a lot of fun. And um, the other thing that I like is we just scored with two outs. I think eight of our nine runs today were with two outs. And um, I think I like that never say die attitude from our offense. Yeah, just just going off that, uh, I think you like you said mentioned uh, with two outs, um, you guys were doing well, uh, and also with runners in scoring position taking advantage of that. Just what were you seeing out of your hitters today? I, I thought a lot of confidence, a lot of discipline at the plate, and they were they were getting their pitch. But uh, you know, I just think it's a, a grit factor when you can get two our two out RBIs. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, something that's uh, a lot of coaches mentioned is that you can take more from losing than you can from winning. Do you feel like getting shut out against UNC and just the one run against Duke perhaps maybe was a blessing in disguise? I don't know if I would call them blessings, but I think we definitely try to take the, the lesson out of every loss. I think we're doing the same thing too in, in wins. Um, it's always taking the lesson. What can we learn? How are we going to improve our team and keep moving forward? So I think our team has been challenged in this non-conference season and we've, um, we've taken all the lessons and we continue to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, as Patrick was mentioning, Kelsey, very efficient first inning, first couple of innings, just 11 pitches. What'd you see from her? Well, that's something that uh, Kelsey has been working on is just that intent and attacking the hitter and, uh, and going at the hitter with her best stuff. So uh, it's been exciting to see Kelsey come back too. Uh, you know, I was looking through Patrick's releases and it, I remember reading last year where it said, you know, Kelsey owes to be out for the rest of the season. I'm just so proud of how she's come back from her injury. And I think she's doing nothing but uh, getting better every day. You mentioned it with Joe Charges, seeing her back. Um, it was obviously great to see her back, uh, period. But what did you see out of her in the circle? For KK, I think it's just about getting her timing back. Um, it was it was great to see her face out there. You know, she's been she's been with us for four years now, so she's had a lot of mound time. And that's the thing I kept reminding her is this this is what you do, right? And um, and so for her, I think it's just about seeing some hitters and getting her timing back. But uh, I was just glad to see her face on the mound. What'd you say to her uh, after the? I guess it was the third inning. Oh, that was the same. I said it was good to see you out there and gave her a hug. Um, obviously, she got into a little bit of trouble there in the fourth. Um, how good is, this, is it to see her, you know, get out of that trouble? Oh, that? right. I mean, and that's the thing. I, we're just working on the fine tuning some things, timing, you know, her her routine, just getting back in that rhythm a little bit. But um, but her speed looked good. Her pitches looked like they had great movement on it. So. Uh, I'm just, I'm just glad to get her back in the rotation. Uh, the two of them, Kelsey and KK, uh, five innings pitch, just the one hit allowed. How big is that, you know, going forward to have the two of them be so dominant? Well, I, I think one of the strengths of this team is our staff, not just Kelsey and KK, but, uh, just the arms that we have ready to go. So I'm excited about the depth we have in the circle this season. Mm-hmm. But KK, uh, KK and Kelsey certainly offer the experience. Um, they're seasoned. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of pitching depth, um, up in Chapel Hill, Rachel Vaughn, uh, looked like she took a ball to the hand. Do you have an update on her? Is she available this weekend? I'm hoping that she'll be available this weekend. Um, she's still working through some rehab and some soreness, but uh, I think she'll be available. Uh, and then uh, what about Warren Stewart? I'm, I don't think Lauren Stewart will be available for us this weekend, but again, I'm hoping to get her in any time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, base running was something you kind of mentioned uh, early in the season as kind of being a point of emphasis. Uh, Kenzie McGuire, you know, just taking second base when the defense fell asleep. Um, Maddie Gallagher, I think a couple of steals. Uh, Leah White, first pitch, uh, take second. And, just what have you seen from your team in uh, terms of base running and kind of taking advantages of uh, every opportunity? Well, it's, it's something we've spent some time on. We recognize that we have more team speed than we have in the past, and we want to use that to our advantage. Um, and it's, it's just those opportunities, kind of like you mentioned, if you have an opportunity to steal or to take an extra base, it just puts a lot more pressure on the defense and the pitcher. So um, I think I think we've done a nice job of that, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to do that throughout the season. Mm -hmm. 
Um, where do you think your team stands uh, heading into conference play and what are some areas that you think you guys still need to work on? Well, I think we're, we're ready for conference play. You know, we, we have a tremendous amount of conference, uh, confidence based on our non-conference schedule. I think they have a lot of trust uh, in each other in the dugout. I think we've won games in lots of different ways, different people stepping up each game. So I think, uh, I think we'll enter the SEC play with a lot of confidence.